if a romantic relationship doesn't work out in the way we hoped, it can still have had a major impact on our life, it can still have been a major success, and it was a step into this deeper form of love. It was a step out of ourselves into loving somebody else, and which then gets us ready for the next step in learning to love. Now, it may be hard to accept that if we're feeling very bitter and angry during a divorce or separation of some kind. Yet ultimately, it can still lead us to a greater happiness. Because once we've let go of the, the ugly glamour that comes when something's breaking up, we come back to more of a reality and more able to see the value of what we had that nothing is ever lost. There were benefits in that relationship. There were times when we were happy in the relationship. We had those good times. We have the learning we got from that relationship. It's not gone. No relationship is ever a failure in the ultimate sense. There's always learning what not to do, even if we see ourselves as having made lots of mistakes, that we chose the wrong person or whatever. It was always a growing. It was always learning about how to relate to another person. It's always broken our shell a bit, got us out of ourselves and into being a bigger part of ourselves, being a bigger version of ourselves to step into that relationship. So in a sense, no relationship is ultimately a failure. It's all part of life and learning. It all develops our character, you can say. It all develops different aspects of ourselves. Any attempt to learn to love another person was a good step to take. No matter how it turned out, it was a very good thing to attempt. When we see romantic love as a gateway to something higher, it can serve as well. Learning to love and care for another person is a glorious thing, especially if it awakens in us an ability to love more people and to fall in love with life in general. Romantic love can help us awaken to the beauty and wonder of life. Now that's something that's very real. It's a very real experience. However, romantic love is not forever. A person in a relationship with is unlikely to be around forever. The type of romantic relationships that work well for a long time and are enduring are ones in which the couple really learn to go beyond romantic love and to discover or something deeper, and they use their relationship as the basis for something greater, for reaching out beyond themselves, for allowing the love within themselves to touch the lives of others beyond their immediate circle. And they each encourage the other to flourish in that way and don't try and limit the loving capacity of the other. Usually they make a commitment to each other as being the the primary form of relationship they have, but they let it be a container that radiates outwards to others and isn't limited to just them. So in a sense, such a couple are not living in a way it's us against the world. They're living in a sense of us for the world, us contributing to the greater life. And this is what enables them to have a relationship that endures because it's bigger than just them. And that enables the, the relationship to draw nourishment from outside itself. And they're not like a, you know, a couple of plants stuck in a pot together. They're rooted in a greater life. And so they can be more enduring. We can help to ensure that romantic relationship is long-term if we allow it to be part of our path to learning to love and to see it as part of our path to learning a greater and greater capacity to love. As part of this, we can learn to cultivate enlightened love. Poetically, we could say that love is a flower with many petals. So there's many qualities that we can cultivate and develop that are part of that. It could be kindness, compassion, appreciation of beauty, art, enjoyment of nature, and of course, learning to love and appreciate more people and learning to love and appreciate more of life. To summarise then, I would say romantic love is not an illusion, but it can be we're seeing it through illusions. We have illusions about it. The way out of those illusions are to, to be able to do some good hard thinking about the type of relationship we're in and adjusting our expectations 
to make our relationships more workable and less based on forever and the ultimate person and instead see it as a pathway, as a pathway to a greater capacity to love. It may well also be that we need to consider the deeper values, the deeper values of the other person we are with and the deeper values of our own nature, possibly adjust our lifestyle and our goals in life so that our way of making our livelihood in the world doesn't cause unnecessary stress to a relationship. Romantic love serves us best when it allows us to reach more unconditional, more universal form of love, not only for this one particular person, but to more people and to ultimately to fall in love with life itself. <laughs>